Hey, Blessings, Fierce Butterflies, it's Coach Renee. How y'all doing on this beautiful day? Listen, sister girl have been here in this house, not feeling well, but I'm just so grateful that I was able to get up today and get a little bit done, at least a little bit. So uh, one project I've been thinking about for a couple of weeks now, I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead and get this thing started so I can stop thinking about it. And that is, I'm going to be making over this flower pot using some Dollar Tree rocks here. Yes, I went to Dollar Tree, my favorite store, I can't say that enough. And I loaded up on me some rocks. Looked like I didn't load enough of them, but at least I have enough to get me started. So when I'm feeling better, I will go out and purchase some more. But I am going to be laying these rocks onto this flower pot. And as y'all can see, I've already gotten started. So the first thoughts that I played with when I was thinking about how I'm going to do this pot, I was going to be using this type rock here on this portion of the pot and use the black rocks on this portion of the pot. But when I got started, I was like, you know what, I want to see some flowers on there. So now my thought process is since I've used the black rocks to create the flowers, I don't want to put the black rocks here because I don't want to take the focus off the flowers. So I'm just going to complete the pot using this type rock here. And um, yeah, it's going to take me a while. It, it actually, it turned out to be a little more challenging than I thought. I don't know why, but well, I do know why. Because when you're looking for rocks, you have to find one that has a flat surface. So if you have one like this, there's no flat surface, really, not a good one. So when you go to glue it on the pot, you know, it's a little shaky. So it's just basically going through the rocks, finding the right pieces. And I just wanted to get started with my bottom layer. I'm going to finish that off. And so far, it's working out pretty good. Of course, I'm using my favorite, Well Bond glue this is not sponsored but i just love the glue it works on everything when i did my mosaic towel pot it worked out well with that also so i was like you know what let me try it with the rocks and it's doing what i wanted to do so why stop but um i'm gonna get me some rest now because i have done a little bit too much already i'm gonna get me some rest and then probably when i get halfway done with the pot I'll come back in and I'll film a little bit more so you can actually see me picking out the right pieces and um, gluing them to the pot just so you can see how I'm doing the process just in case if you get the bright idea to want to do one of these things let me tell you I find it so relaxing and although I'm not feeling well it's still while I was laying the pieces you know it was just so common to me but sister girl is gonna just put it down for now go ahead and get some more rest maybe another day or two i'll be good to go so once i lay some old uh rocks down whenever that is um i'll come back and i'll share the process with you so um we can be on this journey together and of course once the pot is completed i'm going to go over it with my resin I love resin because it gives it a nice finish, a nice gloss. And if you haven't seen my mosaic um, towel pot, then go and check out that video and you'll see the effects of the resin once you uh, put it on the finished product. I'm going to love it. I love it already. So give me a little bit more time to recuperate and um, I'll see you then. clear and so let me fill over there and so you see all this white glue here but when it dries you won't be able to see it and then once I apply the resin on there it's gonna be so pretty 
As y'all can see, Sister Girl done started her second round of locks. It's been about, oh, today make two weeks? Today make two weeks, I think. Two weeks. Let the journey begin. <laughs> and it has begun. <laughs> Yeah, but I just wanted to come back in real quick to show y'all this process. This part here has been challenging. Oh. Mm. I'm just doing some fillers on this side here. It was just too much space for me. But it's been about three days. And I do plan on finishing it today. And what was challenging about it is that some are rocks and some are marble, so some stuck easier than others. <laughs> some didn't stick at all. <clears throat> you got to make sure you're looking for the ones with like a flat surface to them. And ones that I really wanted to use, I couldn't use. But... Challenging, but still rewarding. Relaxing. All right, this one here, I want to use it, but it may not be the best selection. So I think this one will do just fine. And you can always tell when it's going to be a perfect fit when you put it on there and it sticks. But always just try to hold most of them just a few extra seconds to give it a little help. So how y'all been doing out there? It's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. And I talked about it in a, I think it was my last video, or a few videos, to make sure in the midst of everything that's going on, make sure you remember to take care of you, your mental, emotional, physical health, because you can't fight if you're weak, mentally, spiritually, physically, can't fight like that. You do, but you end up losing in the long run. So, take care of you. It's enough of us out here fighting and doing our part that you can take a rest if you need to take a rest. I'm just saying. Take a rest. Get back out there, but take a rest. But anyway, I just wanted to show y'all a quick process of me gluing and sticking. And like I said, I've been working on it for three days and... I will be finished today. I'll put the reason on the day and tomorrow it will be in my yard. That's the plan. <laughs> but it's a good piece. Nice color. Nice flat surface. Yeah, good feel. Goes on there. I'll see y'all once this is done. Alrighty, Fierce Butterflies, as y'all can see, the pot is all done. I love, love, love how it came out. Um, I'll definitely think twice about doing another one, but I will do another one because I enjoyed the process. But um, I'm just going to have it out here in the yard on display until I get me a nice plant to go in there. And I think I'm going to end up putting a fern in there because I just like how a fern grows and hangs over. It just brings it all together. So, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all the finished product. Here is my do-over flower pot made with the rocks from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Go figure. Thanks for watching, y'all. See y'all in my next video.